all humans begin as female in the womb. It's one of the most common biology myths today, from old science papers to blockbuster movies like Jurassic Park. Some transidentified males even argue this explains the discomfort they feel in their male bodies, as seen in this Reddit post. The argument claims that because early embryos share the same initial structures, those structures must be female. So everyone begins female. But those early structures are not female anatomy. They're undifferentiated. Female development is not undifferentiated, nor is it absence of male. It is a specialized pathway guided by genetics, just like male development. For example, genes like WNT4, RSP01, and FOXL2 actively promote ovary development. And when any of them are lost, testes can form instead. WNT and Hox networks actively build the malarian ducts, which become female internal genitalia, and Coop TF2 eliminates the Wolfian ducts, which would otherwise form the internal male genitalia. Therefore, female development is not a passive default, it requires active signals that drive the female pathway and block the male path. Further, male embryos don't begin with ovaries and transform them into testes. Instead, every embryo starts with bipotential gonads, tissues that can become testes or ovaries depending on genetic signals. All embryos also share early malarian and wolfian ducts and a common cloaca, none yet organized as male or female. This is not female anatomy. It's the undifferentiated or indifferent stage, described clearly in modern developmental biology textbooks, such as this one from Oxford, and various scientific papers, such as this one from biomedical scientists. From here, genes set at conception guide development for both sexes. XY embryos develop the bipotential gonads into testes, eliminate malarian ducts, and develop the Wolfian structures. XX embryos develop the bipotential gonads into ovaries, eliminate Wolfian ducts, and develop the malarian structures. In sum, both sexes start undifferentiated, develop their own sex-specific structures, and actively block the opposite sex pathway. So starting from an undifferentiated state, does not mean we all start female. Saying otherwise is like claiming a block of unshaped marble is already a statue. And if you want to test the myth, ask a simple question. Do male embryos begin with ovaries before transforming them into testes? They don't, so the myth collapses. So no, we don't all begin female. We begin genetically sexed, but physically undifferentiated, then develop along the male or female pathway determined by our genes. For more on this, see our beautiful animation, Do We All Begin Female, which walks you through the story of where the myth originated and what the science says. And don't forget, we also have two new books out, one on sex development, which walks the reader through 25 disorders and typical male and female development, and beautiful diagrams, which I'll show on the screen. We also have a new book written by Cynthia Brandy. This one's a children's book called It All Begins With Two, the egg, the sperm, and the start of you. It is completely age-appropriate, beautiful illustrations, and you'll want to pick this one up for teaching your kids about the two sexes and where life comes from.